morning. This is Dr. Patrick Healing coming to you live from St. Paul, Minnesota. We are at the starting point of a rally and march against not only Keystone, Tar Sands, but any of the pipelines. And a large coalition of groups have come together for this action. There is uh, Native American groups, members of different tribes. There are uh, environmental groups. There are okay. just public advocacy groups. There are farm groups. There are uh, the Green Party members here. And just a a huge group of people, not only from Minnesota, there are Nebraskans here. I rode in a bus from that picked up people in Nebraska, stopped in Des Moines, picked us up, and then uh, came here. There are people from Illinois. There, there are people from uh, the Dakotas. There, I'm not sure if there are any people from other states like Indiana or Missouri or anywhere else but that is what uh, is going to happen today sorry about the hum it's part of the sound system we stand together to protect our water climate and communities this is a Tar Sands Resistance March is this uh, front banner. Okay. And some of the signs of climate justice. And I even hear a drum, so it looks like we're going to have a little drum action. I'm going to raise my monopod up to give you a, a wider look at it. setting up their cameras, getting ready to start shooting. There will be a press conference at the start of this. And then we will begin marching. So I'm kind of hanging up here at the front. I'm standing right now next to a guy wearing a Veterans for Peace shirt, which is cool. Police cars here. I believe this is a permitted march, meaning we will have police escort. There will be uh, a car, a car in the front, uh, leading. They know the route, and then there will be probably one at the rear, and then the other cops will block intersections as we come up to them. Selfies? Yeah. No, no, not me. No, I, I'm. I like your. Uh, you look warm. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, well, we're expecting rain plus uh, the pot. Okay, okay. And what does that tyrant response mean? Uh, tyranny response. Oh, tyranny. Someone gave me this hat. Okay, all right. Yeah. So I decided where I did it. I'm wearing a hat that someone had given to me uh, a couple years ago. It says tyranny response. So I just thought it was just for the heck of it. Plus, it augments the uh, eye protection with my, I'm wearing my sunglasses. And for some reason, my phone is acting up, not letting me go live after I went live earlier. But for some reason, the building prevented me from giving you video. So if you can give me some feedback on my uh, on my quality here as people line up. So let me know in the chat if I am coming across, if you can hear me, if you can see what's uh, in front of me. I tried in, in the building at at the rally breakfast, I stopped and restarted, and that still didn't resolve the issue of the no video. So I'm assuming that it's either the building itself interfered with the signal, or I just wasn't close enough to any cell tower to hang off of. Camera setting up. Pretty good. I'm hanging here in the press area. That's where the camera is set up because I want to give you a wide view of the people lining up. And we have more coming. And dogs are here. Someone in a traditional costume of some tribe on here. Yeah. The machine went in a different direction for where she went. Just join me. This is Occupier Kaylin coming to you live from St. Paul, Minnesota. This is the starting point of okay, our march to the capital. This is a no KXL, no tar sands march. There will be a, a press conference first. And then once the presser is over, we will hit the streets. Shoot over my head. I don't mind. Mark Westline, where are you? 
part of the press conference. <laughs> Watch out, Mike Corp behind you. Mike Kirk behind you, or under your feet, so you might want to move. You got a mic cord under your feet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Okay. All right. Everybody that's not a speaker, we need you to get behind the banner or step aside. Minnesotans are home to one of the greatest freshwater lakes, Lake Superior. We are also home to one of the greatest water landscapes on our planet, the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness. Lastly, we are home to the headwaters of one of the world's greatest rivers, the Mississippi. That's why I'm speaking here today on behalf of all folks and all Minnesotans 
We love our Minnesota water. About two winters ago, a small group of us, upon learning the news about the pipeline plan, made a decision to get together and oppose this project. We did that because we live at the headwaters. In our neighborhood are 400 lakes within 25 miles of our county seat. <coughs> Enbridge already has too large a footprint across our northern waters. They shouldn't have the right to explode, exploit, me, exploit our water resources, our headwaters of the Mississippi, our lakes and streams, our wild rice, and our drinking water. Yesterday, our Public Utility Commission gave them approval to put another large footprint across our cherished northern lake country and our water-rich lands. There are folks out there that would brand all of us here as extreme environmentalists, and I have to ask you, since when did saving water for people become an extremist point of view? We are friends of the headwaters. We're here to save the sacred headwaters of the Mississippi River, where we're from. We believe a barrel of water is worth more than a barrel of oil. Thank you very much. Let's, let's keep our water blue.
nurses remind me every day that I was one month away from going on the machine three times a week, sitting there several hours. You could see her and arm. this madness has to stop. We can't do this kind of harm to any and more people. Shut these pipelines down, the stop the tar sands, the and let the people process. live and protect Mother Earth. Thank you. <laughs> Another Michigander. is fracking, it's drilling, it's open pits, and it's, it's tar sands coming to Texas, to St. James, to Alabama. It's a map of the Gulf Coast that looks like someone dropped pickup sticks all over the, the area where we live. You know, it does something to a mother's heart. I have six beautiful children. It does something to a mother's heart when you see your five-year-old on the floor with kidney stones at five, or when you are giving your daughter a treatment and she looks at you with fear in her eyes because she can't breathe, and uh, or when you're burying your nieces or when you're burying people that you care about at a rate that, that uh, breaks your heart again and again and again. And for them to tell me that where I live is a sacrifice zone so flippantly, to tell me that my children as they come out of my body will fall as chalk lines on the ground, that I cannot stand and I cannot stomach. I will not have that for my grandchildren. It's death by a thousand cuts. And you people came here today because you wanted to see or hoping to report on a march, but you're not just seeing one march. You're seeing a movement. You're seeing, you're seeing mothers, students, union workers. You're seeing teachers, people in prayer, healers, standing up together and uniting and say, enough is enough. There will be no more sacrifice zones. It's time for It's time for us to move past what is the value of things and move to what are our values and, and what we care about in this world for our children and for our future. I don't care about money. I care about life. She's handing me the mic. Thank you for your powerful words, Cherie. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to a woman Alaska Chippewan First Nations up there in Alberta, Canada, also known as Fort Chit, Melissa Daniels. Ooh, we have a Canadian here. Hi, uh, my name is Melissa Daniels, uh, and I grew up downstream from the largest industrial project in the world. As uh, Tanya said, um, I'm a member of the Athabasca Chippewan First Nation. We are the Dene Sultane people. This means we are the people of the land. Um, our home is the most important freshwater delta in the entire world, and it is downstream from the tar sands development. Uh, the Athabasca River is our lifeblood, and they have put giant unlined dams that reach into the Athabasca River every single day. When the snow melts, the runoff is equivalent to an annual oil spill. Uh, they 
the government has allowed uncontrolled unsustainable development to to go on basically since time immemorial because this is a bigger issue than just pipelines first they started extracting our children by the way in residential schools and then it became the women our women are being extracted um, and this is most problematic for me I'm a water keeper that's what our role is as traditional indigenous women is to keep the water because women are closest to the water so when they are stealing the women stealing our women in Canada we have more than 1200 missing and murdered women and the government is not doing anything about it. They refuse to do it in Korea or anything like that. And so um, I'm here to, sorry, I'm not used to public speaking. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what's going on is they're using oppressive genocidal policy to continue um, this perpetuation of a capitalist environment and it is destroying our lives, it's destroying the water, and it's destroying the animal habitat. And I think it's really beautiful to be a part of a movement like this. Women gave birth to the revolution, and so it's a great honor to be in a movement that's being led by women. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And for our last speaker, we want to um, bring up a young woman with grand aspirations, a local group here that's been doing quite a few really good grassroots movement building things that show not what we are against, not what we are trying to stop, but what we are for. Um, there's a lot of things that could be done better in this world today. We're not against you know, jobs and we're not against job creation. And so I want to bring up Savannah Doobie with Grand Aspirations. I'm Savannah Doobie. I'm an organizer and a program facilitator with the Twin Cities Hub of Grand Aspirations. The national network of young people who are powerfully working with their communities to build solutions to immediate impacts on people and also plan for transition to a clean energy future, a clean and just energy economy. I can say I am deeply humbled and energized by being here with all of these people. These are my extended family.
over 34 resources we depend on clean water, air, electrical power. We're asking who benefits and who decides in the systems we're a part of. So I am really proud to be standing here with all of these people and knowing that there are uncountable numbers of other people around the world that are in this fight. And I'm ready for us to walk today and challenge the fossil fuel status quo while we walk towards a more sustainable and just economy, an economy that regenerates what we depend on instead of destroying it. March underway. Just giving my uh, stream viewers a view of your sign. Nice. says dear mother earth indigenous block up as much as possible. Again, if you 
Is there any problems with my broadcast? Do let me know in the chat. Um, I will be able to check it frequently. And unless for some reason we turn it away that I have the sun at my back and it's reflecting off my screen, that I can't check it. But, uh, we will be going from here. From this river, I don't know the name of this river. What, what's the name of this river here? I really don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm from Des Moines, actually. Well, welcome to St. Paul. Yeah, thanks. this was fast. So, that's why I just want to what is this river here? This is my first time in St. Paul. What is this river here? This is the Mississippi. Oh, okay. Yeah, good old money. <laughs> and the Minnesota River comes in about, I don't know, down by the airport. Yes. And then the St. Croix from Wisconsin comes in. Oh, so you got three rivers feeding the city. Oh, there's a lot of them. Yeah, we just we just have the Des Moines and Raccoon Rivers feeding Des Moines. Oh, are you from uh, Iowa? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I came up with a busload that I'll yeah we had Nebraskans and Iowans in the bus. Oh, we're from Duluth. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I know some best for peace guys back okay. back home yeah, in Des Moines. We're wait for them to catch up, so. Yeah. We are on the banks of the muddy Mississippi. The old muddy, as some people call it. As you can hear the drums kicking this off. with their bikes or currently joining in.
the person from my life just told me that there's this uh, one native story where the South American condor and North American condor meet and the world changes. And uh, this is the dancing Thank you. 
hear <coughs> a walking. Can you give me an explanation of of this figure here? So my it's ears. a wall that's been draped in oil, some of oil. Oh, okay. So it's a wolf that has oil on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that's awesome. This will be a great visual. This is cool. The dancers, do you know where those dancers are from up there? Are they Mexican? Okay. Yeah. 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 It's like we are going to get this thing on the sidewalk, so to speak. So, so here is a group of people carrying a parachute. I'm not sure. Can you give an explanation okay. for my viewers the significance no. of this parachute? Everyone, if you're one, raise not your really, hand. I'm not the person who made two the parachute. Oh. Sorry. So two is going to switch places. We'll do rise up, down with Tarzan. Right. Rise Sorry. up again. Okay. And that time, all the two these people are going to uh, do some manipulation, change positions. They raise it up. And alternative people will go across and then take up opposite handles. So that's how that will work. And here are the sunflowers. Another banner that people will pick up. Sunflowers have different messages on them. Thing. Other various flags uh, people will be carrying. Raging Grannies back home in Des Moines. Des Moines Raging Grannies. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're well, I, very I, active. I, I was a Raging Grannies in New York because okay, I was at the club for the place. Except yeah. I think we're the only group in Minnesota. Well, you got to change that. I, I have a Raging Granny. Here's something to pass out to your Raging Granny. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll do that. Some, somebody is going to know the, the melody. To, to you can always look it up on the Oh, yeah, they're internet. they're very good at that. So I will definitely pass that and on. Of course, in my ignorance, I wrote the tune. Bella Chow, does it go Bella Chow, Bella Chow, Bella Chow, Chow, something like that? Yeah. Okay, this goes like this. Yeah, I mean the tune, the, yeah. the original. Yeah, we need to wake up, we need yeah. to rise up. Yeah, but I've, I've seen that, a video of that one with like seven different languages. Yeah, okay. So, so yeah, that's why I was wondering you know, if that was the, the one that you're thinking of. It is, and I gave you three or four of them. Yeah, yeah, so so next time I see the local Raging Grannies back home, I'll give these to them. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. The uh, Raging Grannies are a group of uh, older women who are very politically active. They protest against uh, corruption, corporate personhood, uh, economic inequality, Workplace inequality, environmental issues, corruption, just, just the basic things that matter to all of us. And here's a sign that says, rude, crude is rude. That's pretty cool. And it looks like an oil blob. I'm 
live streaming. I'm here from Des Moines, Iowa. Oh, Someone just said we're leaving in five minutes. Five minutes, we start moving. Protect our water. You want to go all the, all the way to that side by the bench? Yeah, you got room. You got room to move to your right. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, cup, another foot. Protect our water, climate, and communities. That's what this long banner says. Someone just said over a bullhorn, if you're taking pictures, hashtag stop tar sands. So please tweet that hashtag out, post it on Facebook, hashtag stop tar sands. That's T-A-R-S-A-N-D-S. -S. So hashtag stop tar sands. Blast that out. Let's jack that bugger high. Just joining me, this is Occupy Kaylin, coming to you live from St. Paul, Minnesota, on the banks of the Mississippi River, the old money miss, and this estimated 3,000 plus mark is about to get underway. We've got drummers up towards the front. I've moved back probably about a third of the way. And uh, there are First Nations groups all the way from as far as uh, Alberta and Canada, we had uh, dancers up front, I believe. They might be from Mexico or another, or it could be a, one of the American, North American tribes, I'm not sure. Have you signed a postcard to Obama asking him not to circumvent the... I've probably signed so many of those things online and off, and I'm live streaming today. Okay. So. Sorry. But anyway, so we are about to get this show in the room. Just walking from where I got out of the bus to the place where we had the rally breakfast. 
people carrying the signs that we brought with us in the bus. And then over here, we got honks from uh, drivers going by. So this is a march against the KXL, against uh, all the pipelines, against fracking, against uh, the raping of the planet and the violation of treaties with the First Nations and all kinds of other related abuses that are going on. And that people are getting shafted in favor of profits. There are a lot of kids out here, which is good. Some seriously cute ones. We have another parachute here. I'm, I'm actually live streaming. What are you doing? I'm live streaming. Oh. Yeah, I use an app on my tablet. I ha also have it on my phone, but for some reason my phone is acting up. So I go to my tablet. And I just try to give my viewers a look at this. Yep. And this is, this is going to be an awesome thing. I just hope that the rain stays away. Because I think it will. I would like to uh, take this raincoat off and just uh, pass it through my backpack so I wouldn't have to. But I appreciate the pockets that it has. Good. I got some Raging Grannies cards to take back to the Raging Grannies back in Des Moines. Awesome. Yeah, I came down here from Des Moines. Or up here, I should say. <laughs> I'm sorry? Is there sound on live streaming? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I have 21 viewers right now on my Ustream channel, and then individual stream feeds get picked up by people running rebroadcast channels on livestream.com, yeah. and so that widens the audience even more. Cool. Good luck today. Yeah, and I tried to, I sent tweets to three other live streamers who live in this area, telling them that I'll be up here, that maybe we can uh, run into each other. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. Yeah, if a t-shirt Toby or unedited camera or any others who are streaming here in this march. behind the group of indigenous people and I'm by the white parachute. Well, that's where I'm currently located. And I think I'll stick with this spot when we get going. Just making a couple of angle adjustments. Mississippi River, there are cranes over there. They are used for various things on here. We will be going to the state capitol. And I smell bacon over there. Got the lights on. I'm assuming this is a permitted march with police escort. So hopefully the 
local fuzz won't start uh, messing with us. But I have a first aid kit on my back, so if anybody does get injured, I will stop and help them. I don't know if any local Minnesota street medics are out here. If there are any uh, Minnesota street medics, you know, if they uh, need any help, I would uh, back them up also. That's what I did when I was in Chicago. I backed up the street medics up there, gave them some help, gave them supplies. There's a fair amount of blue sky right now. And looking off that way. People are, who are still on the grass. I think they're just going to fill in anywhere. location to here. <clears throat> but it's supposed to be in the 70s here. I haven't tried to check the temperature here, but I don't think I need to. Yeah, I'm live streaming. 
Oh, you're live streaming? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like you put it, are you, what do you do when you're, do you record it also? Oh, uh, it goes up to the Ustream server and people are viewing it right now. Okay, but how about if I uh, miss some of it this afternoon? Um, there was a Facebook event for this okay. particular March. I posted the URL there. Thank you. You're welcome. I came up here uh, from Des Moines. Well, thank you with a busload much. of others uh, from Nebraska thank and you. Iowa. Thank you. From what group in Iowa? Uh, well, Iowa Citizens for Community Improvement and a couple others. I am also part of Occupy the World Food Prize. We are part of the No Back and Coalition to try to stop the back and pipeline from going. Pipeline coming through Iowa. Yeah, it's. And the power lines. Well, there, there's another one called the Clean Line, which is supposed to. Yes, be a take wind, a, wind, wind energy. Yeah, and, it? and it's still it's still in a proposal phase right now. I don't think it is approved, but neither has the back of pipeline. But the company is already placing piles of pipe in a few counties in Iowa. Same with northern Minnesota. Yeah. Yeah, so there are about like 30 individual groups in this no back and coalition. I was just down there. I have friends in Mount Vernon outside of Cedar Rapids. Oh, oh, cool. I was reading the newspaper about the legislative effort yeah. to restrict the... Uh, yeah, eminent domain. domain. Yeah. Republican legislator. Um, yeah. Yeah, along with the Democrat. And uh, so... And but you have a great state senator from Cedar Rapids. Yeah. Yep. We used to live in Minneapolis. I'm a Sierra Club person. Yeah. And your Des Moines uh, drinking water works. Uh, yeah. Guy. Yeah. The yeah Bill, Bill Stowe from the Des Moines Water Works Stowe. is Stowe. suing three counties. He was just here at our science museum oh, three weeks ago. Sweet. Uh, speaking to it, an it was like a summit. He called the Mississippi River Summit. Oh, he nice. Talking, he was talking about his uh, lawsuit. Cool. And I almost went over to hear him when I was down in Montana because he was speaking to the Sierra Club a yeah. couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Is he a hero to oh, the yeah. environmentalists? Oh, yeah, because he is taking this unusual position. Yes. And, yeah, there are critics of it, but, you know. Oh, yeah. The governor doesn't like it. Uh, yeah. I called him brain dead back in the 80s. Yeah. He's still brain dead. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, Brain Dead is also co-founder of Alan. Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah. Way back when. How yep. old is that organization? Uh, like 70, 71, something like that. Our country, we have really, our generation, my least, has not done such a good job. We're just losing no. on almost every front. Yeah. And so we get a black man elected president, but what is that? Yeah, he, yeah, we're getting screwed. Thank you for coming. Yeah, you're welcome. Get a bus load, did you say? Yeah. Yeah, the bus picked up people in Nebraska. Oh my gosh. Uh, in Omaha. What's the latest on the court decisions and things in Nebraska? Um, I haven't really talk to them much about that I'll have to when we go back tonight that would be interesting to know but I live in Minneapolis we get our drinking water from Mississippi St. Paul does also although yeah. they get some uh, either well water or other sources of water yeah because there are three stuff. rivers that feed the city there, yeah someone told me there are three rivers that feed the city Three rivers? Yeah, that feed this city, St. Paul. St. Paul. Well, they have a mixture. They get some uh, Mississippi River water, and they mix it with another source, but it's not a big... I think it's mainly groundwater or yeah. small, very small. Yeah. But, I mean, three rivers that, cr that cross the, through the city, that's what I mean. Well, they're not very big. Yeah. No, we have one. What does St. Paul have in the way of Oh my God! We're famous for many hot dogs. Yeah. 
And right now, Iowa has over 700 impaired waterways. Yes, and we have we have many in their waterways. Yeah. Our governor, we have a Democratic governor. Sometimes seems like he's brain dead, but he holds a major report in our buffers. We need to go, go. No. Um, I have an app. This I'm using Ustream. So where do you, where's your you camera down, lens? The lens is actually right so here, okay. and then the mic is uh, okay. the mic is up here. Okay. Yeah, up on the top here. Well, that's very cool. Or, no, it, let's see. And this is a, this is telescoping. You can hold it. Yeah, up. yeah. I can I can extend okay. this. Very cool. And then I can swivel this. You edit it when you get all done. Uh, no, I don't edit. That's a good thing about live that's stream. Very to edit, it's right? it's raw, yeah. and you know, there's no mistaking what's there. Yeah. I may have signal cuts, yeah. or I may have to. Uh, you know, shut it down because it gets overheated or whatever, or, you know. But, Battery powered, obviously. Yeah, and I have two power packs so that if if uh, I get low on juice, I can plug into one of my power packs. Yeah, some's from Nebraska as well as Iowa came up here. And we are on the move. And there's an estimated crowd of 3,000, there may be more. We may pick up more people as we go on towards the capital. Earlier. I'm admiring your yes. incredible package. <laughs> yeah, I have a first aid kit on my back. Oh my God. So you really do provide. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm prepared. Oh, that's what you're doing. Yeah, and I'm live streaming. Live streaming. Live streaming, yeah. This is a live broadcast from my tablet up to you stream. What do we do? Okay. So I came up here from Iowa to do this. Wow. What do we do? So if people get in trouble, you actually get this stuff to help them. Yeah, I yeah. If someone falls and scrapes their knee or whatever, or gets a blister on their foot, I can deal with it. So there may be a mix of chance until here. Like, uh, show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Or, you know, various takes on it. Stand up, fight back one. <laughs> we are unstoppable, another world is possible, things like that. And all kinds of chants related to stopping the pipelines, stopping the tar sands production. Someone has a sound system up, up ahead of me, so some uh, tunes going on. have been most impacted by the development up here in Minnesota. Thank you. 
words that I've been under for this time before. Hopefully it won't screw with my signal too much when I go under. And who streets are street? No more oil, no more oil. Keep your tar sands in the soil. No more coal, no more oil. That's what it is. of signs that I was going to bring up here, but I walked out and left them. Oh well, there'll be more actions back home in Des Moines that uh, you I'll uh, have them ready for. What's insane? This is insane. No eminent domain for personal gain. What's insane? This is insane. No eminent domain for personal gain. What's insane? This is insane. No, I have Since I am not familiar with the city, I obviously may not be able to tell you all of the streets I'm walking on. Wait on me, go dirty on. Leave the tarsians where they are. Climate change has gone way too far. Save the earth. Save the people. Save the children. Yeah, we'll get down a little bit. Snaps will get to uh, 
return to the place where we had the breakfast. Yeah. You want us to raise our fist. Sidewalk. This is Sibley Street. I just wanted to get up on the sidewalk. I saw a street sign, so I wanted to say what it was. So we are on Sibley Street in St. Paul. Started occupying. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. And I want to give a shout out to those channels that are picking up my feed, rebroadcasting it today, whether it be Global Occupy News Network or Activist World News Now or any other set of picking it up and rebroadcasting it. Thanks for doing that. And uh, again, the hashtag for tweeting is stop the KXL. Or you can use no KXL, stop tar sands. Stop tar sands is, is a good one to use. Invasion. It is. Stop the tar sands invasion. That's what his sign says. I'm live streaming. I came up here from Des Moines just to do this. Where? Yeah. Where? Yeah, I rode in a bus with uh, some from Nebraska. Ain't no power like the power of the wind. Say what? Ain't no power like the power of the wind. Or now they change it. Ain't no power like the power of the people. Or they, they can put sun. Ain't no power like the power of the sun. because they want to control the pace of the march and let stragglers catch up or waiting for police to block an intersection for us. Because sometimes marches have a tendency to go so fast that people who can't walk as fast can't catch up. Especially if they're... Uh, are not used to walking long distances or they have mobility impairment or they're little kids or elderly. Some people on the side watching. There's a good lucker. Uh, we are on the move. That's what the intermittent stop is for. Always got to wait for the commuter trains to go through here. And there's a cop scared blocking the intersection for us. Shut 
to show me what democracy looks like. We're still continuing on on Sibley Street. Now they switch to whose streets? Our streets. Our streets. You could change that to uh, whose water? Our water. You could change that to any way you want to fit the situation or to fit the theme of the protest. Whose earth are earth? And we are heading towards the state capitol. I don't know how long we'll stay on Sibley Street. Intermittent sun appears to be because I'm seeing shadows. We've got lots of media, local and regional, independent. I don't know if the other local streamers are out here. I don't know if the local streamers got my tweets. I never check, haven't checked to see if they did respond say that they would be out here or not, but this is their turn, so they seem to be out here covering this march. So, give it a little different look than I am. One way or the people two. We are united. We are united three. We will not let you build this pipeline. We will not let you build this pipeline. That's what this chat is. A length of about two miles. Well, not too bad. That's a nice day for a protest. Did you also just graduate? And once we get to the Capitol, there will be a rally there. And I believe after that, there will be a youth event, and I will try to find that and cover it. decorating their bikes with signs and flags. They'll actually join this march, or they just want to uh, show a little solidarity with some more viewers on the side. Got yourself some cuteness! Cute kid in the stroller. Yeah, I'm a sucker for cute kids. When Earth is under attack, what do we do? Stand up, fight back. This is the current chant that I'm hearing. When, un when water is under attack, I go back to when Earth is under attack. So we're turning left. street is we just turn on to? Okay. I can't see a street sign here. Can you tell me what street this is? Six. Oh, 6th six, six Street? Yeah. Okay, thanks. We just turned on to 6th Street.
as opposed to east sixth street so we are on the west side of the city we're we all go for a few blocks here on sixth street Blinding you, and partially to keep my uh, tablet cool. <laughs> we have a stop, so it looks like we might have to wait on a commuter train again. We've got drummers placed intermittently throughout this crowd. Probably to wait on the commuter train. Unlike uh, Chicago, the commuter trains here run surface. I'm not sure if they go underground. is estimated 3,000, it could be more, and the number could be lowball because people could be jumping in from the side as this goes along. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't put that in my backpack when I came here from Iowa. What was that? I said, Sorry, I couldn't fit that in my backpack when I came here from Iowa. I got first aid supplies in there. <laughs> I was a street medic for Occupy Des Moines. Uh, yeah. And then I got into live streaming. So that's what I'm doing now. Nice. Yeah, I rode a bus up here from Des Moines. Okay. Are there a lot of people on the bus? Um, not, not totally packed, but we had some from Nebraska. Okay. So they picked, the bus picked them up in Omaha. And then uh, stopped in Des Moines. Cool. And we left there about 4.30 a.m. Oh, wow. Only a, like one stop. And then we'll leave. We'll leave here around six o'clock to go back. Ambridge Pipeline got to go. That's its current chant is. against not only KXL but pipelines and tar sands in general. 
and there are people who have come here all the way from alberta and canada we have several first nations tribes represented here we got several environmental groups social action groups we've got uh, other justice and democracy advocacy, advocacy groups here farmers especially those impacted by the proposed pipelines they are here so i rode up here with a bus load of people from nebraska and iowa just to cover this march there are three other streamers in this area I don't know if they are in this march or not. I haven't sat in the chat for a while. Well, I'm gonna get into the shade so I can do that. I'm gonna pause for a minute so I can read. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can use hashtag car sands. Um, you can use hashtag uh, stop tar sands. Yeah, sorry about the late start, but uh, we waited for uh, certain people to get in place. They wanted to organize the marchers by different groups, uh, First Nations groups at the very front, then landowners and others who are directly impacted by pipelines and fracking and other resource related things like that, and then uh, other groups, faith-based groups. I haven't, I haven't uh, gone that far back to see who is represented there, but, you know, different faith-based groups are saying we need to protect the environment we need to protect and preserve what the creator however you worship your creator has made well, it looks like we're about to turn again Robert Street? No, I was wanting to look at the street sign. Okay. My distance vision sucks. <laughs> I said my distance vision sucks. We are on Robert Street now. I'm not sure if this is the most direct route to the Capitol or just the, the way that the organizers wanted this march to go to uh, just spread awareness throughout different parts of the cities we go towards the capital. Might be for the trains like we did before with you know, we cross the tracks or maybe you have to wait for police to block an intersection somebody teleconferencing in on the i'm i'm live streaming oh gotcha. nice. yeah so yes people are no, uh, That's sweet. yeah i have uh, 24 viewers right now and then some may pick up my individual stream feed and rebroadcast it on another channel on livestream.com oh, 
to widen my audience even more. And there are three other streamers who live in this area. I don't know if they're out. I never got a response when I tweeted them uh, earlier or last night. So I don't know if they're out today, but uh, I'm here. <laughs> I came up here from Des Moines. Yeah, we're trying to stop the back of pipeline from across in Iowa. Makes sense. We have a coalition of about 30 different groups involved in that. From farmers all the way to a small group of like four people. Occupy the World Food Prize. Normally you think we just protest the World Food Prize and their love of GMOs and corporate ag and, and screwing over the family pharma. Well, when you can't grow your crop because of what's underneath the, the ground, you know, that's a problem. And these pipelines are going to heat up the ground, especially at the high pressure with the crap that they're going to send through. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, that's really even though it's kind of you know, a double-edged sword. Yeah. Having everybody on board. And in our state legislature, we had both, we had some Republicans as well as some Democrats trying to uh, toughen the eminent domain bill so it can be used to uh, steal land for the back and pipeline because it will not benefit Iowa. We will not get one microgram of that oil that comes through there. It's not a public utility. Oh, the wind is picked up. It's surrounded by these taller buildings, so it might get a little windier, but at least I'm getting some shade. Keep my tablet cooler. Love water, not oil. We are continuing on Robert Street. Our eventual target is the state capitol. I don't know how many blocks will stay on this street as we keep going. We do turn up, try to get the street name that we are turning on to. Uh, we're getting some waves from drivers going the other way, so one lane is open to normal traffic. So we have not taken the entire width of the street. Yelling, yelling, love, water, not oil. One of the most important water sources in this country that is not a river or a lake is the Okalagala Aquifer, which is the main source for the Lakota tribe and the Pine Ridge Reservation, as well as nearby farmers and other residents who live on and near the aquifer. The KXL pipeline was due to cross that, but so far that has been blocked, and Nebraskans have been successful in keeping the KXL from going through Nebraska, especially the First Nations people in Nebraska have stood up. Show me what democracy looks like. Behind the people are lifting it up. As we stop, I think people are running underneath and changing faces. Or they're just raising it up and dropping it down. This is what democracy looks like. Metro 
car on a, on a commuter train to go through. We're, we're waiting for police to block an intersection. <laughs> or what these inter other intermittent stops are. We are no, we are unstoppable. Another world is possible. Some of y'all. here in St. Paul since this is my first time here. I don't know what streets would come up to unless I go look at a sign or ask someone what the street is. But I will get you the street name so you have any Minnesotans watching can have an idea where we are at. So if you are Minnesotan watching, you're in St. Paul, and you're watching this, I'll tell you the street name that we're on. Make, try to make it easier for you to jump in if you want to jump in and join us. There's a good looking pup behind us. There's a little cutie. Dogs want clean water too, you know. <laughs> Rise up, get down, revolution in this town. waving of the sunflowers and some we have other signs and flags are moving them. That's okay. I'm a shorty anyway. I'm avoiding turning to the left because that's where the sun is and I don't want to blind you. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like as a current camp. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. 
Good job, guys. Now we're on the move again. The drummers are going like there's no tomorrow. Rise up, get down. There's a revolution in this town. Is a, is a Kurt chant going again? Grounds. I think the trains may all be surface here. I'm sure I don't have to move on. Again, thanks for watching. I give a shout out again to those Eastern channels who may be picking up my feed and rebroadcasting it. Whether it be Global Occupy News Network or Activist World News Now or any others that are doing it. Thanks for doing that. You do a valuable service to us streamers. This is what democracy looks like. And if the other local streamers here are active, they may be in different positions than I am. After all, this is our turf. They should be out here. So show me what democracy looks like. This is the current chat going. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. I'm saying some city buses. This is what democracy looks like. Passengers could be watching us. They might wave, or a driver might wave. I don't know. This is what democracy looks like. Staying on Robert Street 
sign. I didn't see one, so I don't know what street we just turned on to. Street we just turned on to? Okay. 11th. 11th. 11th Street? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, we just turned on to 11th Street. Is this um, a low description? Uh, yeah, I'm live streaming, so I'm telling my viewers where, where we turn on to. Especially if they happen to be watching from uh, the, this area. And if they're watching, they can come down and, uh, and join us. Join us. Yes. There are three other streamers who live in this area, so I don't know if they're out here or not. Okay. I tweeted them yesterday, but I didn't get a response back. you got to be hot with the yeah. black and everything. Else. Yeah, this is a raincoat. I looked at the forecast. I know. I put mine in here. And we may still need it. Yeah, <laughs> and I have two umbrellas in my backpack. But I also have pockets, so... Uh, oh, that sounds good. Yeah, well, I have a first aid kit on my back. Wow. I'm to be walking with you. <laughs> yeah, I I did. I was a sole street medic for Occupy Des Moines when we had our camp in the park and did protest. Then I went up to Chicago in 2012 for the NATO protest and ran with the street medics up there. And I shot a few pictures and I streamed when we did a march to Ron Emanuel's house. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we had to have some fun with Mayor One Percent. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a big column up there, is Mayor 1%. That's all he cares about, or that's yeah. why he gets his money? Or? Yep, yep. He says he's a Democrat, but he don't he's act like it. to get us to wave. Stand up, fight back, stand up, fight back, stand up, fight back. Stand up, fight back, there's a current champ going. Fight back, stand up, fight back. I can read them backwards from behind and say climate justice. And the sunflowers have different messages on them. Yeah. 